everybody! Nick Snerdy Red Heart here. Welcome back to a night in the woods. Or night in the woods, not a night. And, uh, I'm pr <laughs> probably gonna record, depending on how long the days are, I'm probably not gonna record, like, another hour. <laughs> so, uh, let's go check the emails and shit. Bay and Greg. Hey. Got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Apparently she's upset that we messed up her b basement. Whatever. She didn't pay us to clean up. I'm at work all day. Just saying if you want to say hello. I'm here to be helloed at. <laughs> God damn it. Hey yo boyo! At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon. More like it. Okay. Well. <laughs> My really shitty voices by the way. It, it's been like a few days since I recorded More Night in the Woods so. Mother is probably... Whoa. Oh, wait. Wrong way. What am I doing? We're still upstairs. Yeah. Dad put him here. I bet. D God damn it. Ah! You just go away. Boing. Boing. I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. Okay, nothing but a bookshelf. We're going down! Bless this mess. Ooh, she doesn't look happy. Yawn. <laughs> Morning. Long night? Yeah. I went to work with Bay. Oh, are you gonna work there? No, Mom. I was just tagging along. Though I was, like, really useful. Mm hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Mm. Mm. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood and number stress. Well, it's number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Yep, we can talk to her. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay. Sorry, ma. Gotta go. Boink, 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 boink. Ow! No, bad squirrel. What I tell you, I don't have any nuts. Get out of here. Just gonna jump. Hold on. I might be missing things. There you go. Like people. No, no people. Whatever. Probably just because <laughs> I'm sure the days are getting longer. Summers. What's that? Totally. What's up, Selmers? You know what's good. Off the top of my head, not bleeding on your seat in junior high. Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself. Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom. Uh, probably that. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. We used to get eat. We used to eat in grade school. Oh right, yeah, those are those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue, blue, blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazovkov Chazokovs is up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on that the stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up there the other night. Wonder who was up there. Hmm, that is a mystery. What's up, dude? You're gonna make my dog anxious. She poops a lot when she's anxious. Well, I'm sorry about that. But I need to go look at more stars. No, fuck! One, two, three! Hello, Chazakov! Get on there. Whoop, whoop, 
Whoa! May Borowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come hunt some Dusk Stars? Definitely. Come have a look. And blindness. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> Filter. Uh, okay. Let's go find these other Dusk Stars. I don't know if I missed one. I probably didn't. There's a... Uh, Castis. Door. Or door. Uh, uh, uh. That one. Found one, found one, found one! <laughs> Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of this, these guys? Eh. By the time they got all the, these rare stars, the well known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. He's gonna be bu a bummer, huh? Was he not psychic? Who can say? Do we believe any tale occurred? Hmm. Either way, one day he's... Ah, fuck. An astronomer. And she showed the king how the planets and, st and stars orbited in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters. For the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? Sounds fair. <laughs> no. <laughs> I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's, one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? That's how life is. No. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some, t some way? Where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> The stars, they make one think. Okay. Let me check out the middle. Okay, I'm all the way to the left now. Yeah, so it's somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. If I can find it. Whoa. Okay. There is a second one. Uh, uh, uh. That's it. Right here. Yes. Boom. Found one. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land, those roots took hold. And choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chesikov. Jeez. Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. Oh. We may not have a signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisons. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the one posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night. That Simone would be their salvation. Was she? It's a lot of pressure for one person. Was she? We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, oh, goddammit, I knew this wasn't gonna be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates. And behind those gates were cannons. Oh no! Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others. It was said that she now lives on in the bones of all her country. Jeez, that's got dark and sad and spooky. But <laughs> that is history. That's both of them for today. Neato! Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. A couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> Sterling and Simone. 
Neato. Moving on. Yeah, we gotta go talk to Bay. Wow. We gotta go talk to Bay. And we gotta go talk to Greg. Talk to Bay first. Beatrice. checked out down here yet. Uh, should I go? I'm gonna go up to the church as well. Considering I'm gonna be exploring. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. Life long gone, kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. Haha, <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, God, please don't listen. I bet some rabbit babies would love a delicious pretzel. Okay, now I'm gonna feed the rats again. For the rat babies. We'll score two for the rat babies. Rat babies have one. Oh shit! This amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Holy shit! The dudes the hecked up the someone hecked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do this? Nuke Possum Spring thought. Okay. So I've been down here. God damn it. Get on those stairs. We're going up. Okay. So Let's go feed the rat babies. Them. Oh, I don't know this guy. Hey, CJ. Yeah. You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. Haha, <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. It's female? Can't tell. It's th the body type. Maybe, okay, maybe could be male. Like Greg and Angus could be a gay couple. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to rob a bank? What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation, you see. Like, would you dig through the wall or, like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or, like, I don't know, ca just cause a riot or something? Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn that kind of stuff in law school. Well, is the point of, like, going to college if... You, what? What is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> uh, okay, video output too. I can talk to Ang I think Angus is back too. I can talk to Angus. So I'll talk to all of them. I'm gonna go up to church and all that, but I want to give the bait the rat babies the food. Party barn. Say there, harvest the, the old pickaxe. Let me go feed the rat babies first, and then I'm gonna talk to Bay. Why don't you two like? There's two people now standing there. Like I don't know what they're looking at. They're looking at something. Okay, ready? Huh, huh, huh. 
Also, when talk to a uh, horror movie dude, or duder, or female, whatever, <laughs> it's hard to. <laughs> Shut up, dog! Not talking to you. <laughs> the uh, horror movie chick, because that's female. It's so it's so hard to like no genders in this game because of the fact that there's no real difference between bodies sometimes. I mean, look at May. May's female and she's like a round body. Rat babies. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. There's three! Oh, oh, right, side side. Got it! Hello? Oh, I missed the other one. Come on. No! <laughs> Don't be a prick. Choose a side. There you go. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Y yes, you do. Feeding the rats. I mean, that's not really a good thing. I'm sorry. Rats are vermin. Actual vermin. <laughs> but, uh... You know, it's kind of cool. Okay, ready? One, two, three! Shaisa! Oh, hey! Okay, ready? There we go. Alright, up we go! No talk to, uh... Fuck, I forgot her name. Awesome. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me a answer you before you decide I said no. Oh, okay. Uh, did you want to go? Sure. Oh, I can actually chill out with her too. Mmm. Make new friend, rekindle old friendship. Old friendship. Sorry, that probably was loud, because I clapped. Oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine. It'd be really boring anyways. Aw, oh, man, I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm just busy today is all. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. See you later. See ya. Oh. Next time. Next time. I will literally, like... I'm going through all of the different... There's going to be endings. Different endings, I'm sure. What's up, Dan? Hey, dude. Hello. How's work in here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, bae! Hey, May. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid harvest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of, like, three employees, plus a store owner. Even though I'm not... not one, even though I'm one employee and I do not own the store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no. I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin. Using materials and tools from the store. And bury me anywhere else. Jeez. That got intense. Ah! Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing, too. Fine. So are we doing this? Not sure. Got a couple of other stops to make. Other couple, couple other stops. I'm gonna go talk to Greg and Angus. Even though I'm definitely doing the Bay and I'm definitely doing the Bay playthrough. I'm just, just sticking with Bay for now. And then I'll go hang out with other people, <laughs> like the possum. Be friends with the possum. Friend possum. Possum friend. Yes. Friend with the possum. What's up, wolf dude? Or fox dude? That's probably a wolf dude. Angus! What's up? Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's Video Land? Good, good. It's start, start of Halloween Rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What? Har what horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath. Black Oaks. Uh, 
that sounds like slasher or a thriller. Go thriller. Oh, nice. Witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. It's scary. Yeah, that one's, like, historical. The witchy version? Well, see you later. Bye. Can't talk to him again. I feel bad for Greg. <laughs> because I'm... Greg's an awesome person. Just from, like, how he is. But, because everyone else went Greg first. Greg was the character's best friend. When it came to recording, I went with Bay. Because, funny, you go. Thank goodness. Mm. Let's go. What's got you down? Ah, that's nothing. Hey, uh, go smelters, right? Yeah, go smelters. Snack Falcon. Let's go talk to Greg. Gregory! Hello. Hey, hey, hey! Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something! Okay, wow. You drink, like, all the coffee? You have a near-death experience or something? <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I can't have coffee, it makes me anxious. Oh, wow, that sucks. And it tastes gross. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. Seems like a lot of hassle to make something gross taste okay. Good point. So, dude, dude, dude! You wanna do something? Something, something? Ugh, can't today, dude. Yeah, man, let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. It's cool. Sorry, I'm gonna go talk with. I want. I, I want to rekindle the friendship between May and Bay. Like I've already done done two different things with May and Bay. But still, everything points. Like for everyone, it's mostly they want to hang out with Greg. Like I was watching D Live play. Uh, I haven't watched Jack play. Um, I've only watched up to where I am now, basically. And that, that was after I played. <laughs> but, uh, DLive went Greg, even though one of them he did accidentally, because he wanted to hang out with Bay a bit. So, are, you, are we going to do this? Not sure. Uh, let's hang out! Hi, Bay. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ is help, helping me move stuff from under the table cache. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. Alright then. <laughs> He's like something out of a children's book. About whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Dinner at Bay's. Ooh! But, uh, everyone went with Greg. This place killed the food donkey? Yeah, kinda. Food? You know, no one... No one who works here had anything to do with that. True. Donkey! <laughs> True. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Ah, I thought we were gonna hang. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing a big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like, a main course and two sides. Fancy. What counts as a, as a man... A, what counts as a main course? <laughs> Fancy. Eh, we're traditional. What kind of main course? We can stop back at meat section once you pick up at whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out, and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Plus, Dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aw. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. <laughs> Green beans. Tash. What is going on? 
No, okay. What's in here? Tasty taters, mac and cheese, mashy smooth, nice rice, rice, nice rice! Yes! Mmm boy, delicious! Okay. Cool sides, quick biscuits, cream greens, he's... He said no, she said no broccoli, so greens... Hmm, should I get bakey, shaky? That goes well with meat. No. Ah, uh, okay, so I did rice. We're doing meats. Maybe a little bit of greens. Tash? I don't know what is what. Green beanies! No. <laughs> Scottosh! Thakot! <laughs> Thakotha! Thakotas! Suffering Thakotash! No. <laughs> Cream of chicken soup. No. Actually. You see, I'm a big fan of culinary stuff. I went through uh, culinary college and shit like that. Quick biscuits, cream greens. Nah. Uh, hmm, should I bake shake that goes good with well, meat? No. Um, but, uh, I went through culinary in high school, like, two different times, two different years, I went to culinary, same with two different, two years of German and two years of culinary. Succotash. Succotath. Fuck. Delish. Check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Cool stuff. <laughs> okay, so we need something cold, too. Quick biscuits. Hmm, biscuits. Yos. Ooh la la. Okay. That should be everything. My dad were is at the deli. We could go there for the meats. Okay. Father figure. Ahoy there, laddies! Hey, Dad. Hey, Bay. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meet friends. Just you? Meet friends. Helps us stay friendly with some prime cuts and best fish. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternative. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, all the greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you la lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. God, I keep... G uh. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? One of your best fishes, please. Chicken. Pork chops. Ground beef. Chicken goes good with rice. Can't go wrong there. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? No? Yes. No. no. Wait, Dad. I changed my mind. Actually... Chicken and fish go good with rice, but I'm good chicken. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger? Meats. Yes. <laughs> Bay, you should co come for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther! At home, mate. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice. Thank you. Yeah! Okay, let's get your, get our meats. Coming right up. Alright, dinner decided. Not even looking, looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's get, let's keep moving. Alright, ladies, let's see what you all got. Mm hmm, yes, okay. Looks completely 100% okay. Alright, thanks, Mr. Broski. Tell your dad, hello. See you later, dad. Not ladies. I'm get Like, it's all the voices that I need just get mixed up sometimes. That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun! 
Woohoo! <laughs> Fucking amazing! Hey, shut up! God damn it, Nate! <laughs> Middle of recording! Can't answer you! Dinner time. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's alright. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thanks. You did fine, May. Thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, May. I'm really good at food. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I'm really good at food. Food is good. It's okay sometimes. Sometimes. Food is really good. Noted. <laughs> So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. Mm, Alright. That rock's all sorted. Yeah, it should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, I need you to sign some things, like them at the bar. I think I might just get, get to that. Please do, we have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but... I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours... Smelt is playing tonight. We're gonna be... go hang out in my room. Yeah. Your girl... your girl's having a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. You guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. Your old room was like. <laughs> pretty cool record player. As far as record players go, it was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Haha. <laughs> they were retro when she was a. was a. was a. was uh, my age. They're retro now. That's how retro it works. So, I've got a question. Mm-hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? <laughs> he has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. Haha. <laughs> Greg's always been like that, too. Just more, uh, zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. Bay. Whereas my dad is having a years long, long, long breakdown. You run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. <laughs> yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and working every day, too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay? I think you're, like, selling yourself out. I'd probably just quit. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it, just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? I'm, just, I'm saying you should stand up for yourself. Or just, like, quit. I think it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Take it. Take it! You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell! What? You heard me. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek? At the shop? No? No? You've seen him. Talks a lot. Worked for us since forever. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. What the... What the... Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And, I f and frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up to 
heads up the repair team. Says my dad's barely doing anything, and Creek's got a family, and he needs the work. That's disgusting. I'm gonna be sick. It's not your responsibility to do. I know. Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying if you keep letting these dudes off the hook. Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, Bay. You're like badass and shit. You. You. Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. I'm sorry, I. You were such a shithead, you know that? A lot of folks just can't just choose to do whatever it is you decreed to be the right thing. A lot of times, people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You always have a choice. You can always choose. <laughs> Says the child woman with no job, no rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for her stupid for your stupid actions. I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time? You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just start a big this big drama and make your life way more stressful. I'm just not... It's just not right, is what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying, then? Ugh, I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought you were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did. Th that was all you did those days. I'd worked a good six hours before you even woke up, or probably. I came home each night after you and I were done. To pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll. While Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. Well, fuck. I think I'm gonna talk to the Dad. I feel like shit. I'm not gonna wake up the dad. Dad's asleep. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that shit. I feel like shit now. I fucked up. Majorly. <laughs> Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work today. Yeah, I can't believe I had hadn't visited it yet. Eh. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually looking the hand pain for Who's to say I'm not? Well, it's just... It was nice seeing you, anyway. Lurk, lurk. Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Haha, <laughs> well. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spent a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have to do have that too. Huh? Cheer up, kiddo. It's one it's only laugh. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move 'em. TV time. Yeah, for a little bit. <sighs> Carbo and Malloy. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. Oh, got him. We never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, my lord. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I just green. Them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights. Those good. Those good nights. Just that heat. The heat of the starlight and the thrill of the wing in it. Uh, thrill of wing in it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are around the midsection. That's a whopper. Well, Lord, it's company policy never to body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Gabo. 
Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Gabo and I go to counseling. Okay. Uh, I feel like shit. I think I fucked something up with Bay. Alright. Night, Dad. No. Up the stairs, May. Thank you. Cross space boxes. Anything else? No. Okay. God, I feel like such shit. Uh. Checking out the fucking computer. Oh, Bay has something to say. Hey, Bay, you there? Of course not. Yep. I don't really know how to how he screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Ah, uh, oh, why? No reason. Just happens. Must be going around. Just got to a fight with Bay. Oh no! About what? I don't even know. I think I'm an I'm just an asshole. You and me both. Ah, uh, the asshole twins. <laughs> we can get matching jackets with <laughs> that on the back. <laughs> Varsity jackets. Giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. I'm cashing out for the night for the day. See ya, duder. Duder. <laughs> Call everybody Duder. <laughs> Duder. <laughs> I use that word a lot recently. What's up, Duder? What you doing, Duder? Bedtime. Yes. <laughs> Going to sleep. Seeing if there's a weird dream tonight. Probably is. <laughs> fucking. Fucking shit. Mm, fucking. Mm, fucking shit. My <laughs> dad probably got home wondering what I'm doing. I'm probably recording, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh shit! Yep, there's more. Okay. Going left this time. We're on a fucking train?! Dude, what the fuck? Boing. Like, it's a fucking city on a train. That is fucking weird. Okay, here's one of the people. This should be easier. Violin duder. This should be easier considering it just seems like a straight plane, but I'm sure there's more under it. Like that! I died! What? <laughs> that was confusing! How did I... Who to what a who? Okay, that was weird. I fell through it. I'll fucking jump now from now on. Okay, I gotta go fucking find this asshole. What's up, Violin Duder? Come on, Violin Duder. Okay, I'm gonna just fucking jump everywhere like I did before. <laughs> Fell through the fucking floor. Okay. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, I should be good now. Okay. There probably is upper areas. Whoa! There's one more. Another step. Awesome springs. Okay. Guarantee there's more upper areas. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Like, we're literally on a weird fucking moving city train. With like actual city, the fucking Toba. I have a glandular condition. <laughs> D 
Deep Hollow County. Okay, so I found the Tuba Man. I found the, the uh, one duder. So I'm missing Saxophone Man and Cello Man, I think. Was it Cello? No, it was fucking Accordion Man. Whoa! Saxophone man! Guarantee the other guy's like over here at the end. No? Can't jump into that, okay. Is mid range of. Oh, he's upwards. It says he's up and to the right, so. Hard to see some of this sometimes. There he is. <laughs> Fucking accordion man. Boy! Okay, now I gotta go back to the middle. Sibbles! Going on now? Um, alligator! Ah! All right. So I'm like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up. It's not gonna be two days because that was that was a long day. So if you guys liked the video, why not leave a like, add to your favorites, subscribe, subscribe to become an initiate to the Guild of Heroes. Always leave suggestions in the comments comment section below. Also with that little notification bell if you want to keep up with my uploads. Anyways, everybody, my name is Xterra Red Heart, and remember, everybody. Never give up and never give up, especially when it comes to your dreams. Peace out.